There needs to be like three specialties. How about specialties. you show up with something like that for once? What the f am I supposed to do? Buy in the secondary? I have my Elmer. I'm bringing I'm my Elmer right now. But I'm bringing my Elmer. What did this guy say? <laughs> okay, I'll bring my this Elmer. Guy's drinking all of our good hey. booze. I'll We're always bring... opening up crazy. Hey, 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 he's hey, just enjoying. Hey, hey. He's like, hey, can we open up that one? I'll bring my Elmer <laughs> and I'll bring my yeah, Colonel I'll Taylor Single Barrel about Elmer. and my Colonel Taylor Single Barrel. Yeah, I'll you care about that? Yes. See, I'll what? bring my Colonel, Colonel Taylor Single Barrel. What else can you bring? That's not enough. That's about it. That's all I got. I want your land, your home. Hey, want we your open your mind some hey, fucking better bottles. We open my blood oath. We open my blood oath already. That one's mm. not bad. Mm. Cheers. Chin chin. Cheers. Cheers to liquid marshmallow. Welcome back to another Bourbon Ears. We are not sitting with a bottle in front of us for the first time yes. because we are doing top three beginner bourbons, which out of you know 14 videos, this is yeah. gonna be a little different than our typical. We've been so. promising a different kind of video and this is it. Yeah. So our first one is top three beginner bourbons. Yeah. Uh, I'm Taylor. Ethan. Mitch. We're the three Bourbon Ears. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna do the top three uh, beginner bourbons tonight. Um, the way that we set this up was we had Kind of ca subcategories within the beginner bourbons. Our first category is your everyday drinker. So this your is the bourbon that you go to every single night if you're a beginner, like we were at some point. Seven nights a week. I mean, we don't <laughs> we don't drink every night, but it's one of those bourbons that like if you come home from a hard day of work, you're gonna uh, pull it out and you could pull it out and drink it, right? It's gonna be something that's not too expensive. So our our parameters for our picks were beginner bourbon, uh, everyday drinker is twenty to thirty dollars. Yep and around 100 proof. All of these bottles are gonna be around 100 proof. Nothing too crazy with barrel proof. Or when we were starting out with bourbon, we thought, you know, anything over like 100 proof, it was kind of hot for us and uh, we didn't really take to it. So we thought, let's go a little bit lower proof because right. you beginners are gonna yep. be wanting more to- More into the smooth, more, smooth. more into the, yeah. Um, so our first bottle again is your everyday drinker, 20 to $30. Our second bottle is your Friday night sipper. So the bottle that you're gonna drink one time a week at the end of a hard week. And that a little is weekly celebration. 30 to $50. Yep, a little so more lenient. A little bit more expensive yeah. because it's a little nicer bottle that you want at the end of the week. And then we're gonna have the um, the classic special occasion, special occasion bottle. Which is gonna be fifty to sixty dollars. We don't nothing spend, too crazy. We don't want to spend more than sixty dollars on a bottle when you're a beginner. And not too proof. I bought a bottle that was sixty dollars and I was a beginner, and I had a sick feeling in my stomach <laughs> when I did that. Yeah. And um, yeah, it just didn't feel right. And now now, it's now like when I think about it, it's like whatever. It's but, just sixty bucks. Yeah. Off. But at the time, I, I hated it, so we don't want to go too over because yeah. when you're a beginner, you're not gonna want to spend. You want to try things. You're bottle. still figuring out what you yeah. like. Figure out what you like, but yeah. we're going to give you something that you can drink as a special like yeah. whiskey. So, you'll uh, start? Yeah, I'll start. Taylor's starting. Okay. Uh, so, my everyday drinker is going to be. He stole this one from me. This is I what I wanted. I stole to do. it. And by the way, none of us know. We don't know what yeah, we're doing. We have no idea so what we're doing. It's all random. This is all surprise. My everyday me. drinker is going to be Elijah Craig Small Batch. The Good old stuff. fashioned, old. Reliable, yeah, old reliable. Everything you want in a bourbon. Thirty bucks, right? I think it's like twenty. So this is the funny thing. I think it's like twenty-three dollars now, which is crazy. So, that's for, nuts. Uh, so if you want a bur so this is actually a store pick. Um, I would actually avoid store picks if I was a beginner, um, because this one is actually like I call this peanut butter. There's just so different. Yep. This one is literally peanut butter because it's just it's it's single barrel. So when you get into bourbon, you'll find out what single barrels are. It's they take one barrel and they put all that whiskey into bottles, right? So you're gonna get a unique flavor. So um, his bottle compared to my bottle could be it might be different. Yeah. So go with the regular small badge. It's gonna be twenty to twenty five dollars, yeah. and it's gonna be such a classic bourbon flavor. Something that I think that everybody would like. You might get a little nutty flavor on it. You might get into that rum. It's a Heaven Hill Distillery product. Yeah. Um, what do you like about it, like flavor wise? Flavor wise, it's just so classic bourbon. It's yeah. caramel. It's it's like brown sugar. And it's uh, it's a little boozy, you know. It's you got that get, wood fit. Yeah, yeah. Get that There's some wood. good oak on it. It's 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 well aged, you know. It's it's probably a I, six year bourbon. I think this there, is so. one of the most well rounded, good intro, value. good value. It wins in blinds for us when we do yeah. like like regular bourbons. Yep. This off, often wins in blinds. Yeah. So this yep. is this is my pick for your everyday drinker. You'll find this everywhere. And go, it's everywhere. It's easy. Go to buy find. one. Buy it for twenty five dollars. Go get it. So. All right, I'm up next. Ah, Wood the classic Woodford. Wood Absolutely. This is an All easy right. one, I feel like, to go, you know, classic, traditional, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey by Woodford Reserve. I don't think you can go wrong with it. 
you know, it's it kind of hovers around the thirty dollar mark. And I mean, in some places mm -hmm. might be like thirty five bucks. Seller places, it's twenty nine ninety nine. It's kind of just fluctuates. You'd buy it below that. If yeah. You know. But Woodford, obviously a classic. You know, it's a, everywhere. A, a staple of the industry. It's a staple. You can get your hands on it. It's not going to be something tough to find. Any store is going to have forty of these sitting there. So yeah, very. It's great. You can enjoy it as a beginner. Neat, obviously, but when I started, we drank a lot of this on the rocks, and yeah. it was perfect. So, it is very good on the rocks. Um, it's actually the first bourbon I think I ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good, so. yeah, and it's it's a little like less. I don't know. It just seems less scary. Yeah, you know, when you're getting it's a nice classic oaky so. like yep. wood finished bourbon, exactly. well rounded. Like they just know they know what they're doing at the, Woodford. The obviously. beauty of Woodford is product. Yeah, yeah. Product. yeah. Uh, the beauty of this is you can slowly with Woodford products taper up in other things, which is really yeah. exciting. Like, yeah, you got like different you, flavors. There's sweet yeah, wheat. Go to the you, double O. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's, but the, I love the stepping stones, which not sure. a lot of brands have. Well, yeah, a lot they of them do, different. but a lot don't. They got so. wheat and they got yep. malt and centered whiskeys. Yep. They got, yeah, they've got so many different things. Plus, this is on, what? Yeah. start out with this guy though. Yes. Yeah, this is yep. the original, yeah. So, this yeah. is my, uh, should we line them up here? Yeah, this is my daily sipper right there. All right, gentlemen. What do you got? My, I'm so curious. He's been hiding these all day. Can I guess so, what it is? Yeah. Guess. What might it be? I'm gonna say Buffalo Trace. Yeah, I'm gonna say Buffalo Trace too. Oh! <laughs> what a bastard. Yeah. What a boy bastard. So, I was <laughs> close. So I was looking at I Buffalo even Trace. Even opened it. This is the one he went and bought. He even opened it. This is, sip. this is just the most classic, easy to find bottle I can think of. It is. Drinking every ounce of this bottle, I do not regret. It is an easy <laughs> drinker. You can pour it on the rocks. You can, you can pour it mix straight. It. You, you can, can mix you it. Yeah. It's just, it's a bottle you need to have on your shelf yeah. because, yeah. you know, even if people are into whiskey, it's just such a good Which is crazy because that's immediately what I thought of. I just didn't have a bottle on hand because I drank it all. It's yeah, funny. It's so so you, you can obviously see where we're at. Right, right. three like, really like it. Yeah, and they have so many, like the cool part about Elijah Craig too is they have this classic taste, but then almost like Woodford, they've got like the barrel proofs, they got the toasted barrel, and they got the rye, it's and they got variety. They got yeah. a lot of options too. So keep in mind really though, cool. nobody told us about Elijah Craig's small batch when we were first starting. Yeah. So I yeah, it was no kind one, of the no sleeper, man. It's it. a sleeper. Yeah. I love that we're telling you. So if you're a beginner and you're seeing it, that, yeah, guys, this is it. Just get you. It's a twenty. It's, it's what so cheap. twenty-five, thirty dollars bottle. On sale it's a good one for eighteen dollars. Yeah. at a store. I mean, it was it was less than twenty bucks. Right. So. And it competes with some of those fifty, sixty dollars bottles. Oh, wow. You know, okay. easy. It hangs so. with the, it hangs with equal rare. Yeah, things like that. So. It drinks smooth. It's got That's flavor good. profile. This is a good one. Obviously, us. I mean, he was even gonna possibly pick it. So. That would have been funny if we had all three Elijah yeah. Craig small batches. So, so those are our versus the same. Yeah. yeah, those are our uh, three beginners. So we'll stack, Taylor, let's just stack all of them because we're gonna go to. Uh, now we're going to the Friday sipper. The Friday sipper. The Friday sipper. Well, what's the price range on this again? It's uh, thirty to fifty. Thirty to fifty dollars. Um, so my pick might be unavailable in some places. I love um, this pick because so. We've seen this, we see this bottle quite a bit. Like it's, it's around, yep. you've got to go to your local shops to find it. Um, and if you can't find it in your area, the small batch will do just fine. To be small batch is very good too. Um, but this is just going to be a little higher proof. You know, it's, it's bottle and bond. So you know, it's at least aged four years. It's, it's hundred proof. It, it's looked after in, in the same distilling cycle yep. by, by one distiller. Um, so if you don't know what bottle and bond is, it's it's some type of standard within the industry. Yeah. So it's something that you know that you're gonna get at least some quality. Uh, we've had one of these bottles, I believe that you bought the first one that we had, yep. and it was, um, it was delicious. It was it was like, amazing. Like cinnamon flavor. It's like 100 a proof, so it's actually gonna be a step up from these here, right? So this is your Friday <clears throat> sipper. This is something that's a little bit more special, and you're a beginner, right? So you're not gonna be looking for something that's too high proof. You don't wanna blow out your palate. It's 100 proof. Yep. It's not gonna blow your palate out. You're gonna be okay. You can put this on the rocks if you want to start, but it's just something that has a lot of flavor and it's a well-known bourbon in the industry. 1792 yeah, is very, absolutely yeah. recommend. This one's unopened. I'm really tough to open it right now. <laughs> right, but, no, it's uh, good. Yeah, it's, it's a great bourbon, a great Friday night zipper. If you can't find it in your area, like I said, go for the small batch. Buy that, that's totally fine. Um, but I, this, is, this is one of my favorites. We can, like, we can find it here, so. Like Mitch with Maker's Mark, I feel like 1792 for me is like my, your Maker's Mark. You're kind of stand out, yeah, like, like you're that's, reach for I, on the I shelf. Love this, and again, kind of like the Elijah Craig's, you can graduate to the different tiers with it. Yeah. 
cool thing so is many different all directions. the bottles are the exact same, different neck color. Yeah, yeah. And I actually really like that. Yeah, really cool. You know for a fact that you're getting like a, a more aged bourbon probably than the Elijah. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, the, you know, it's minimum four years. So, you know, you got for a little a fact, more cost. you're getting some age on it. And it's a little bit more costy, but you're drinking it once a week. I mean, not even that much. I mean, we're talking like 35 bucks, 40 bucks uh, for a bottle and bond. I mean, a, right, a it, small I've batch is it, like. I've seen it $50. Yeah, some I places think is $45. This one was like a $47. So, so yeah. it's up there, but again, this is one that you can count on. You know, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's worth the money. Yeah, Easy. 100%, 100%. Easy. All right, Ethan. What's your bottle? All right, the Friday sipper for me. Might be a little weird. I don't oh, know. This is a little hey, weird. Hey, really? I mean, you do really like rye. So this one, okay, but this is why mm. I picked this one. Mm. Sazerac rye. Taylor and I tend to lean a little heavier on the ryes, which, if you're a beginner, are going to have a little more floral note with a little more spice on the palate. So, a little hot. A little yeah. hot, yeah. but that's what we're looking for. I chose this one, and Taylor just mentioned, a little lower on the price. Around here is $27.99. Yeah. If you go down to Kentucky and some other spots, it's like twenty bucks, right? Well, no, no, it is actually it increases in price. Really? So it's how like we 30, feel 35? about Eagle Rare in Wisconsin yeah. is how people feel about Sazerac down south. So they're paying. Some people are paying upwards of forty to fifty dollars for this bottle if they can find it, and they can't find it. We have sure. access to it here. So, so if you, yeah, if you're not familiar with yep. rye, right? Like it's it's totally different from bourbon. Like yep. it's got a, a way different flavor profile, and it's I mean it's really good. Yeah, right? it's it's depth. It's it's floral, it's got that it's grassy, floral grass. It's, yep. it's really good. Um, no, I like it for sure. Yeah. yeah. And the good thing is, if you're around, if you're in the Midwest, you can find this bottle. Yep. It's around. Just yeah, it is. Shots, you'll it find really it. Is. And it's a good Friday separate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a little bit different. Something different. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't and, expecting that. Yeah. No. And it, and the, the beauty of it is, this introduces you to Sazerac. And right. it, and, and to and, rise in well, general. Well, and so yeah. is this too. This right. is actually a Sazerac. Is it? Oh, I know. Yeah. So, but like with Sazerac, you're gonna find this branch of trees and all these different companies that are oh, yeah. well known that they have their hands in their own so yeah. good bottle I, I i really like sazerac like they were talking about how much they like rye the thing that i'm getting used to with rye is it's such a light texture yeah a lot yeah, of you're times you're not gonna get super I mean, buttery it's very, it's very light it, it sounds on, like it depends on the rye else. i mean like if it's a barrel proof rye you'll yeah. get you'll get some i mean some meat like midwinter is, is very yeah, meaty and is, right now we're drinking midwinter night's dram Rye heavy, unbelievably and this amazing. Is, it's some thick, yeah, good stuff, you know. But so, Mitch, what is your uh, Friday? I get, I get like anxious. So my know. Friday sipper is. I'm more worried about his paper. <laughs> is a really is a really good one. It's kind of hard to find. Ooh. But I had to. But I had to. Okay. okay. Right. Because it's just the the quintessential. The bourbon. quintessential. Yeah. 100%. Example of bourbon. 100%. Ten years. Um, it's you know good proof. It's just so, got the classic oaky and wood flavors, yeah. and um, obviously it's a little harder to find. But I feel like if you really want it, if you're gonna look for it, you can find it typically yeah. within a month or two. Of, you know, yeah. you can you can get your hands on this. Great Friday sipper. I would say out of all these, this is easily oh. the hardest one to find, hands it's a down. Great sipper. Yeah. But um, it's it's definitely the hardest one to find out of all these. At least, but that's why us. I said a Friday. Um, You're not drinking it weekly. So that's the only what? reason I didn't pick this bottle. For, it's because it's harder. I actually thought about picking this for my special occasion. I, I so the price is not bad on this. Thirty six. Thirty dollars. Yeah. Thirty six dollars. Something here, like that. Here, around here. Yeah. It is like thirty. You bucks. go out east. Somebody's gonna throw a hundred dollar price tag on that. Just stupid. Don't Oof. ever do that. Do not. It's money. not worth hundred bucks. But here you're actually getting an age statement, so you're gonna get ten years aged. So you know you're gonna get some oaky flavor. Yep. So, as a Friday night sipper mm -hmm. or as a special occasion, if you're a beginner, this is gonna knock your yeah. socks off yeah. compared <laughs> to any of these bottles. Right. To be totally honest with you, like this is gonna taste. I mean, honestly, this bottle and this bottle here are gonna be. Yeah, each other, yeah. So. and that, that's kind of why I picked it. I'm just like, I need I need this bottle in my lineup. It's it's a very good one, but like I said, it's a little harder to find. It's hard to find. Um, if you here. if you could get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it. I mean, I, we're, I we're some pounds, right? Like yeah, we, we're we're out there in in the streets doing the work, and so that's why we found <laughs> yeah. these bottles. If you're not out there looking for the bottle. You're probably not gonna find if it. If you're the guy that goes once a month to a festival yeah. or a, a grocery store and but ask, you're not gonna find you it. You know, ask your store manager though. Go up to the go up to the counter and ask them, hey, do you have any eagle rare? If they yeah. got it, they'll tell you that they have it.
I'll sell you a bottle. We usually get a couple bucks. bottles in, you know. Don't spend more than 30 bucks on it. Also, also a great, bucks. great lineup here. Those are great Friday sippers. I'd drink all of them. All right. All right, Taylor. We're in a special occasion. $50 to $60 beginner. All right. My special occasion bottle, $50 to $60, is going to be Ooh, Four hey, Roses. That's a good one. Small Bash Select. Taylor's um, a Four Roses guy. He does. I'm like turning this. into a Four Roses guy more and more. But uh, this bottle, to me... Hits way above its its price point. Yeah. Um, I've had you know there's and a its small, popularity. It's yeah, already yeah, for sure. No, no, no. It's fine. It the, the popularity. Yeah, it's it's growing slowly. But um, the the small batch is great. The single barrel, awesome. Single barrel is good. To get the small batch select is the best one that I've had out of all of them. What's the proof on it? It's 104 proof. Okay. So it's, so it's not, right around that, right around that it's range. It's not going to kill you. In fact, I'm going to pour a little bit for myself right now. <laughs> um, and the unique thing about Four Roses is that they actually have um, like six recipes mixed into the small batch select. I think that they have 10 yeast strains total and they oh, have okay. 10 different recipes. And they blend all these recipes to make a certain flavor. Um, but the Four Roses small batch select is, I mean, you're going to spend 50 to $60 on it. But you're gonna get a bourbon that actually hangs out with some of the best ones that I've tasted. Yeah, I mean that's um, a great special. This game. is the first bourbon that I've tried that I've actually it's made me question Keep talking. why I buy all of the rare bourbons that I buy. Yeah. Right? Like when I buy a hundred and twenty dollar bottle of bourbon and I taste it against this, this is so close to some of those that I think Damn, I could just buy this is at every single store you go to. Yeah, it is. You'll never not find it. Why not just buy a bottle that hangs out with the best bourbons that you drink? This is one of them. What do you guys think about it? I don't know. I really like it. I'm going next. Oh, oh so that was what I was gonna uh, choose. Yeah. He was gonna do a special, special occasion. And I okay, so the reason this has I become with that. my special it's, occasion yeah, it is, is both on Friday and full from our experiences. Solely, this is why it's, I chose this. So obviously, we highlighted what this is, why it is, but I can tell you, yeah, for us locally, the price range is down a little bit. It's yeah, not, but yeah, look, elsewhere, you can even see, yeah, we got this bottle for thirty-three dollars. Thirty, thirty-three dollars. Elsewhere in the country, this is a fifty to hundred dollar bottle. It's crazy. It's kind of like the, uh, it's almost like a bland. It's right? not worth that because the proof. No, it's not. But. but in our experience, worth, this 40, was this, bucks. this was solid gold for us when we were when we were starting out. Yeah. What do we want to drink? On this is game? all we were looking for. Literally, like so. Every and you're watching game. this because you're starting out, right? Like you're, yeah. you're a bourbon beginner. Enough said. I don't need yeah. to go into what it is. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we kind of so already described it. So. All right, my Excellent special. Yeah, we got about ten percent battery. So. Excellent bottle. That's point. Whip it out. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> that, it. that is a great. So guys, I picked wood for double oaked because. It is a, it's around 55 bucks. I know like at Woodman's it's like 48 or something. Yeah, but it fits right into the price range. It's, uh, what is the proof on it? Uh, it's 45, it's 90, well it's 90.4 proof. It's right in that lower price, uh, proof range. Um, it is literally liquid breakfast. It is maple syrup, it's pancakes, it's eggs. You're waking up, you know. What do we always say? It's about it's all just, put you in place. It's, it's about all a take certain back. place. It'll take you back to that uh, 1969 Jaguar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> cigar in your mouth. mouth. Cigar in your mouth. All leather interior. Oh yeah. It is this just. Is, this is what that is. It's a good. Forest it's a green. Exterior. It's a nice, smooth, sweet, special occasion. You drink. You, yeah, you bust this out with pick. your buddies. Even people who aren't into whiskey will love it. This kid put some effort into this. Kid. Um. He. So I have a brother-in-law who's somewhat into whiskey, and I had him try this, and he freaking loved it. So. Literally, like this is the quintessential bourbon for beginners. I feel like it's up there in price, which puts it in the special occasion. And it gets you into that like toasted, finished kind of barrel. Yeah, too. more like, of an interesting. So what they do with this out. is they 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 take it and it's normal bourbon, right? Like they've aged it in new American white oak casks, and they actually move it to white oak casks that are new, but they've only been slightly toasted, right? Yeah. Or, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's double oak, so maybe it's even a hard, hard, even char, a harder char, something like that. But but that transition is what. Either way, you're getting a. a bourbon that's actually finished a yeah. second time in something so it's something totally different than the yeah. other and you would think it would like make it super woody and super like yeah. 
you know, oaky centered, and it's not. It yeah. has this like sweeter it's taste like a to syrupy it. Syrupy bacon yeah. type of flavor. It's just it's this so is such good. An you guys. Underrated bottle. It is. It's it, so underrated. I'm telling you, yeah. try it uh, if you can. I, I know they sell smaller bottles of it too. Like yeah. they have the little three seven yeah, fives of it. Guys too. Buy one of those. Try it. Try uh, it see if you like it. Buy them. I, they don't sell one seven fives, but yeah. I think all of these are great picks. I would I mean, drink like, all of those. Our Friday zippers and our special occasion zippers could probably be interchanged a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But like, depending on how much you spend on the bottle, I think that's how you would decide your yeah. special occasion. If you're going to spend a little bit more on an Eagle Rare because you see one, so that's yeah. your special occasion. I kind of put it on all the different ones. I'd spend 50 bucks on an Eagle Rare, probably. If so I, if I never had an Eagle Rare in my bucks. life, yeah, I would spend $40, yep. $45 on an Eagle Rare. Don't spend any more than that. Yep. But, so these are basically all of our yeah. our different ones here. Yeah. Bunch of great bottles here. Let us know if you've tried any of these if you're a beginner. And, and let us know what your weekly Friday and special occasions are. Yeah. You know, those are... Let us know what your favorites are because yeah. we want to know. And uh, yeah, we'll do a... We have a lot of similarities. We got some Eagle Rare similarities, some Elijah Craig. Uh, I think we all like Double Oak, so... So check us out uh, on Instagram. Um, last thing we gotta do quick, we gotta do a quick little shout out to Full Curl Spirits. We left this out, Full Curl, that's the uh, Bourbon with Pause. Uh, you can find it at shotsbox.com backslash full dash curl, otherwise fullcurlspirits.com. We did the rye in a video, we have the bourbon over here off camera. Um, in some of the first videos we did, we have reviews on these. So. Check them out. Check those 20% out. goes to Protecting Wild Sheep. Great cause. Oh, yeah. um, we're huge fans of them. And Super good bourbon. A yep. great beginner bourbon. We just talked Fits about perfectly bourbons. with this video, yeah. There are some bourbons that have edged it out, but to be honest, this is also right in line with yeah, what we is. just talked yep. about. If you guys want to try a really good beginner bourbon that's not going to like burn your palate off, Perfect. Try this bourbon, yep. try this uh, rye. They're both super 40%, good. Yep. so right in that proof range. So. Yeah. so Full Curl Spirits, check them out. We are the three bourboniers, at three bourboniers, bourboniers on Instagram. We'd love a subscribe. Let us yeah. know your thoughts on your intro beginner bourbons. Yeah, let us know if you want us to try anything else. Thanks, See you guys. guys.